Good morning and welcome back to another flight with your boy Antonius. Today we're flying to version 2 of Auntie S. So this thing just came out a few days ago, so of course you know your boy had to rip it out the plastic and act quite brand new with it. And by brand new, today we're running a Matek 8743 wing running INAF 6.1.1. For FPV I'm running the DJI 03 system with a 5 volt fan and a set of RAM air tubes that are designed in 3D printed. It's getting wild hot in these summers, we're hitting triple digits on the daily, so these are the types of things that you have to do to make up for that. We're in a motion sick pan and tilt system, running Head Tracker 2.2 across two Arduinos. I have one Arduino on my headset and one Arduino on my controller. They operate via Bluetooth. What this does is it just tracks my head movement as I'm going from side to side and so forth. Anyway, as you can see, I'm not moving my head too much in this. It's a little windy outside, so I'm pretty much focusing on tracking straight. So when I bought this plane, I bought the Almost Ready to Fly Plus kit because the plug and play kits were all sold out. So what this means is I had to provide my own power system. So what I did is I just bought the 3658-2150 EDF kit that they already had on the site. It's just, you can buy it separately. So anyway, I bought two of those. And uh, both of them were actually deformed when they arrived. The actual EDF blades were uh, dug into the housing of the EDF, so I couldn't use it. So what I did is I uh, took a risk and got the 3658-1857 EDF housing. It's made out of metal, so I was hoping that it would come in and it actually <laughs> wouldn't be deformed. And it wasn't, actually. And it came with a whole nother 12-blade system. So I just used that. And uh, I've already gotten up to 200 kilometers an hour with this thing. So this setup right here seems to work. Nothing's blown up or anything. I did change my mind on the ESC. Originally, I went with 100 amps. But then I noticed they started peaking over 100 amps consistently in the 120s. And I feel too comfortable with that. So what I did is I got the Avian 130 amp brushless smart ESC. It's a little OD, but I pulled it out of another plane, so it wasn't too much of a loss. I'll probably use that 100 amp ESC in another application later. With all that being said, I hope Motion RC figures out this EDF situation. This was two separate EDFs and they had the same problem. I'm glad I found a solution, but I feel like I shouldn't have to find solutions like this. That being said, the plane itself is pretty amazing. I feel like this could be a beginner jet, an intermediate jet, maybe an expert jet. I'm not an expert jet pilot, so I don't know if I can even give that suggestion, but it pretty much does whatever you ask it to do. Um, I would say this plane's nine out of 10, um, only because I don't know what a 10 out of 10 plane would actually feel like. Anyway, I really can't give you any ideas on how it is to fly at line of sight. But I could say flying it FPV is sick. It uh, does all the cool stuff that I wanted to do. The only thing that I noticed it's a little different versus the other jets that I have is that this one floats a lot more in on landing. So I feel like you have to give more of a controlled landing. My other jets, uh, my more scale jets, I feel like I can get a better flare around the end. On this one I noticed uh, when I'm coming in, it just, you just gotta fly it down. It's a lot different from my other planes. I don't know if I'm explaining it correctly, but you'll see it on this landing right here. I'm told that this is just something with sport jets, and if that's the case, I'll just get used to it. Anyway, I think my next video, I'm gonna actually take the cockpit and change it around. I feel like the navigation panel right there is just a little too high. So I'm thinking I'm gonna shave it down and lower my camera. When I do that, I'll better use more of the uh, windscreen that I have there. The front windscreen is actually a different material than the stock material. I uh, replaced it so I can have a clearer front view. So uh, maybe my next video I'll have that done. Anyway, thanks for staying and hanging out during this information dump. Peace.